Hi guys, Miss Depke here. Thanks so much for joining me this evening to celebrate our graduating seniors, to recall some amazing choir memories, and to listen to some beautiful music together as a choir family. As you can see, I'm currently standing up in the balcony of Shattuck Auditorium on the campus of Carroll University. Don't ask me how I got here. I'm not gonna tell, and neither are you. Shh. I'd love to take a moment to welcome you to Brookfield East High School's first and hopefully last annual Choir Quarantine Spring Unconcert. Certainly it's not one of my flashiest or most glorious themes, but such are the days that we are in. Tonight, my main goal is to celebrate the singers in the Brookfield East High School class of 2020 because honestly, they deserve to be celebrated. Their hard work, incredible musicianship, and unfailing leadership were the hallmarks of their class. The class who as freshmen, I affectionately coined my Super Bowl choir. And they delivered. We are so very grateful for their dedication and the loyalty of this beautiful group of human beings. And we wish them the absolute best moving forward. Now, sit back and relax and enjoy our evening Choir Quarantine Spring on Concert, a salute to our seniors and some other stuff too.
Ola Yalo was our final song on our spring concert 2019. Little did we know we would not be having a spring concert 2020 as we know it. Thankfully, we were able to make music this fall and into the winter months as well, including our epic trip to New York City to perform with Eric Whitaker at Carnegie Hall, our winter concert right here at Shattuck Auditorium, and our song fest at Pilgrim Park Middle School. We had music.
faces today. Get out and enjoy the sunshine. Oh, hey guys. Welcome to my kitchen, also known as my office, known as our classroom. This is where all of the Brookfield East Choir virtual music learning happens. I don't know about your house, but it's really hard to find some place that's quiet. Um, it is just really a struggle for me to get any sort of focus. So, um, can I have a snack? Uh, yeah, you can have a snack. It's fine. Ooh. Uh, okay, go, oh, go get a snack. Please. As I was saying, it's not a really cake, exciting Mom? time of. Can I make a cake? Honey, have you seen my big hedger? So, I'm just trying to concentrate. Um, this is normal. This is our everyday life. I just can't even get stuff done. So, um, so excited this evening to share with uh, some of the virtual learning that's been happening. Oh, I know where I left it. Um, I left it in the garage. What? Sorry about that. So, virtual learning, we've had actually a lot of it going on over these last 11 or 12 weeks. We've made some amazing music. Check it out. We're going. One, two, three, four. Dun 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 Thank you. 
I want my passion project to be something connected to ballroom dancing because it's my big passion. I love it. For my passion project, I want to learn how to play the piano. Or I either want to research how like ballerinas, ballet, and classical music interact. My passion project will be about how music has affected the military throughout history. Hey guys, so so far the choir passion project is going pretty good. I'll just compose at least three lines of music. So Hi everyone. So I think my project is going super well. I'm really happy with how it's going actually. Hello, it's Claire. Um, it's going well. I'm learning the guitar. Hi. Okay, so my project is learning how to play the guitar. Um, it's been going pretty well so far. I've learned maybe like 15 chords. <laughs> Quite a sound, you're supposed to just use your lungs. Hi, I'm Maria. And I'm Sophia. And, and we're, we're going to be performing a I short version, version of I Have a Dream from Mamma Mia. Hello everyone and welcome to my passion project. My passion project is about the great composer Toby Fox. So we'll be talking about his early phase, his Undertale phase, his Super Smash Bros phase, and his Pokemon phase. of the heart and soul. Something that connects all of us. Everywhere. Powerful. A way to express yourself. A great escape. And liberation. A way to express Music is powerful. Life. Life's magical. And up Something up that brings us together. A chance to express to connect us. Something that connects us. Something that brings us together. The language that brings the world together. Love. Creativity in its own way. Music is a way to like to make everlasting friendships. What brings us together? My foundation. Meaning. A way to express yourself. My escape or In everything around us. A way to express yourself. Validating. Letting go of the
I would like to thank my choir director, Mrs. Emily Blackburn, for giving our choir members the opportunity to make music in this unprecedented time. Thank you, Ms. Depke, for directing us and making the most of our moments together and apart. I'd like to thank my director, Mrs. Sherrick, for doing all the hard work she did over the years. Thank you, Ms. Stoffel, for making virtual choir a fun and encouraging good time. I just wanted to thank everyone that was a part of this, especially my choir director, Ms. Berici, for getting us involved. We love you, Mrs. Stoffel. Say thank you then next to my amazing choir director, uh, Mr. Dennis Gephardt, for allowing me to be a part of this great opportunity. And lastly, I'd like to thank one of my best friends, Megan, for going out on a limb and doing this with me. Hi, I wanted to thank my choir director, Mr. Gephardt, and my friend, Abby Linshaw. They've been super supportive and have been with me on every step of my musical journey. Thank you, Ms. Blackburn, for creating a fun and safe environment in the choir classroom where everyone can learn and grow and be themselves and feel safe. And it's things like these, being able to get together and still perform together virtually if not physically, and experience the joy of music and singing together, that's just keeping us all going right now. I am truly grateful for all the people who have inspired me. Thank you so much to my pro choir classmates. Singing with you guys for the past four years of high school has been a dream come true. I'd like to thank my incredible director for making it a truly memorable and amazing experience. Uh, to Roxanne Rolison for getting me into choir in the first place. I wanted to give a big like, thanks to Bill Seipel for helping me along my four years of high school and choir. I also thank you so much to Mr. Moore for composing this wonderful piece of music that we could all really connect through. Well, I wanted to thank um, everyone at Brookfield East Choirs for just always being such a wonderful friend. Um, I'm thankful for music, especially in school. Thank you to my fellow musicians and choir members for making this video possible. And thank you to everybody in the audience watching this and helping us keep music alive during this trying time. Thank you, choir directors. But the most important part is the listeners in the audience. It wouldn't have happened without you guys. And it's absolutely amazing that you guys listen to it. So thank you. And most importantly, our friends and family. Thank you for watching our virtual choir. I'd like to thank, thank you, you for watching our virtual thank choir. Thank you to everyone watching thank this video. Thank you for watching this video. And thank you so much for supporting the arts. Thank you for all that you've done for us.